Hello folks, and welcome to Quick Tip Friday, where there are no barbarians, no stupid voices, and I won't even tell you how long I've been a dungeon master. Anyway, on to Quick Tip Friday. I just give you a super quick tip that you can implement at your game table, and today we're talking about player handouts. Now, I'd like to claim credit for coming up with the idea of creating handouts and props for players. In fact, in a future video far divorced from this one, I plan to. But the truth is, game masters have been doing this for forever. At least I think they have. I mean, I haven't been around that long, but I'm just taking a wild guess here. Anyway, they are a great way to engage your players on a new level and add something cool to your game. This is how I do my player handouts. First, I start off with this cool parchment paper right here that you can get off Amazon or from a local office supply store. This, this box right here is the big massive thing that I got off Amazon. It came with uh, 500 sheets of parchment paper, so this will keep me doing player handouts for quite some time, I think. Then I type something up on my computer in Word, and I use some cool font that I download from like a plethora of free font sites that are out there. Now, usually my handouts are letters from a major villain in the campaign to an underling. This allows me to dispense important information and plot points to my players in a more interesting way than just me droning on and on. So then, at the end of the letter, I'll sign it with the villain's name, or perhaps something mysterious like the single letter P. Here you can see that this is signed by Lord Paxton. Finally, I'll melt a little bit of wax onto the page, and I use like these cheap pewter bracelet trinkets right here that I got off Amazon. These things were like maybe $10, and they come with like a whole bunch of different variations of like shapes and stuff. So it's a really cool thing that you can just press into wax and make some sort of like unique uh, impression. And you know, when I'm done, I have this awesome handout for my players that not only looks cool, but it serves an important purpose in my games. Now, in case you'd like to see what supplies I actually use to create these handouts, down in the description, there's a link over to Amazon where you can see the list of supplies. Most of them are quite inexpensive too. Now, I make sure I place these letters from the villains in spots in the adventure that the players are sure not to miss them. And if they do miss them, I usually figure out a way on the fly to get it to them. Then I have whichever player reads the letter, read it aloud to the party. Finally, each of my groups has a special folder that they use to store all of their handouts. Now, by the way, this folder along with their character sheets stays with me between games. And then my players can reference the handouts at any point in time. Other things I create handouts like this for are maps. And also I create summaries of information they might learn from say books they read. Now I'm sure lots of other game masters do handouts and props. So please let us all know down in the comments what you do in your games. If you wanna see how I create magic item sheets for my players, click this video right here. And until next time, let's play D&D. &D.